Welcome students here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn an other assumption of OLS that assumption is XT or non stochastic so this means that there is no relationship between explanatory variables and error terms so we can say that covariance between error term and explanatory variable is equal to 0 Dear student, when we are talking about stochastic and non-stochastic, stochastic means there is a randomness in the occurrence of any event. Stochastic process will be having probability distribution and can be predicted through a uh, statistical approaches or process. Predictability of stochastic event precisely is not possible. Like. Uh, for example the number of phone calls that a customer care center gets in an xor so uh, uh, this cannot uh, calculated or this cannot uh, uh, be predicted that what the what is the exact number of phone calls a customer care center gets in an xor whereas when we are talking about the non stochastic process it is a fix so uh, you are familiar with the assumption of OLS that uh, independent variable or explanatory variables are fixed in a repeated sample. So when we are talking about the fixed in a repeated sample this is known as stochastic, non-stochastic sorry. In regression analysis it is assumed that dependent variable is a stochastic in nature and explanatory variable is non-stochastic in nature. So whenever you are talking about the non stochastic so this means there is no relationship between the independent variable and error term so we can say say that covariance between the error term and explanatory variable is equal to zero so further explanation about uh, uh, about the this assumption let's discuss about some uh, derivation of uh, the par parameter beta or you can say that the parameters because uh, this is very uh, useful for uh, for the derivation of this assumption okay usually the dependent variable y depends on a big set of explanatory variables or regressor and so we have to extend our analysis to more than one regressor the multiple regression model generally has the following form let's see we have a y dependent variable x1 x2 x3 so on xk are are uh, here are independent variables so see here uh, in multiple regression analysis when with the help uh, when we are uh, using metric algebra or other derivation form for finding the uh, uh, formulas of these parameters we are not using a constant term uh, particularly for understanding about the uh, 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 about the concept why we are not using a constant term uh, in a linear uh, multiple regression you uh, i have um, a separate video so you can see the derivation of uh, uh, these uh, parameters in a separate form in a separate video okay now we convert this equation into matrix algebra or matrix notation that we have a y a, a dependent variable x beta plus u so see here uh, x is a set of explanatory variable and beta is a set of parameter depending upon the number of explanatory variables okay now we convert this equation in the form of uh, matrices we have a y is equal to y1 y2 so on uh, yt so this mean that uh, and number of observation decide the number of rows in the dependent variable matrix because dependent variable is one so that's why we have only one column and the number of rows depend upon the number of observation what dependent variable have okay here we have a x x1 x21 x31 so on xk1 so so number of columns number of columns depends upon the number of 
independent variable we are using and the number of rows depend explain that how much number of observation we are using for the explanatory variable beta beta 1 beta 2 so on beta k u u1 u2 u3 so on un here we explain that uh, y is t cross 1 vector t cross 1 number of rows depend uh, number of rows by 1 by 2 and cross 1 mean column so we have a one column with t rows x is t cross k number of t mean number of observation cross k number of explanatory variables beta is a k cross 1 so depend beta depend upon the number of explanatory variable so beta here we use uh, beta is the, uh, k cross 1 and u is an t cross 1 number of observation multiplied by number of columns okay Dear students, our main purpose of regression line is to minimize the residual sum of square. So for the matrix algebra, we have residual sum of square is equal to u hat prime and u hat. Residual sum of square is equal to u hat prime u. We have u hat is equal to y minus x beta hat you are very familiar with the formula of uh, u so this means that our estimated u depends upon y minus x beta and when we are taking the prime of uh, you can say that inverse of uh, <coughs> of u hat we get u hat prime is equal to y minus x beta hat prime okay now we multiply the out uh, the values of u hat and u hat prime we get this now we simplify u hat prime u hat is equal to so we multiply prime by with this whole equation now we multiply uh, y hat with this part and minus beta hat prime x prime with this part we get this so this is a very simple uh, derivation process okay now uh, more simplification we get minus 2 y x prime beta hat prime and these are the same now we need to differentiate the above expression with respect to beta hat and set this results equal to zero so this means from this equation we are taking the partial derivative of this equation with respect to beta hat prime and set the outcome uh, is equal to zero so here we have the partial derivative of this equation with respect to beta hat prime we get this Okay, after after solving this this part, this part is equal to zero. Now we uh, we cancel out the two two, and we get this. And multiplying both side by x prime x inverse whole inverse, we get finally here uh, the value of beta hat is equal to x prime x whole inverse x prime y. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, the outcome for finding the all parameters of multiple linear regression with the help of matrix algebra okay now we move towards our assumption that the covariance between the error term and explanatory variable is equal to zero so this is also known as x t r non-stochistic and Fortunately, it is turned out that OLS estimated is consistent and unbiased in the presence of stochistic regressors sometimes. 
provided that the regressors are not correlated with the error term of estimated equation we have beta hat is equal to x prime x whole inverse x prime y and we have y is equal to x beta plus u now we put the uh, y value into the this beta we get this now this part of value with multiply by this and this we get this so see this is a very simple multiplication now see that this part will be cancel out we can say that uh, x prime x whole inverse multiply by x prime x is equal to 1 so this will be cancel out and we get beta hat is equal to beta plus x prime x whole inverse x prime u now we take the expectation expectations and provided that x and u are independent we get expected value of beta hat is equal to x beta plus expected value of x x x prime x whole inverse x prime u now we find that x uh, expected value of beta hat is equal to beta we suppose that be expected value of beta is equal to actual beta plus expected value of x prime x whole inverse x prime expected value of u, u. we know that the expected value of error term is equal to 0 now we put the expected value of 0 in place of this so this part will be cancelled out so see this part will be is equal to 0 we can say that this expression will be 0 and therefore the estimator is still unbiased even in the regressors or stochastic so see here expected value of beta hat is equal to beta so this is uh, the main assumption of, of OLS that the expected when we have the expected value uh, is equal to our true value our actual value so this means that our xt are non-stochistic so this also reveals that there is no relationship between the explanatory variable and error term so this shows that covariance between the error term and explanatory variable is equal to zero okay when we have expected value of beta hat is equal to actual value of beta then however if one or more of the explanatory variable, in some cases we find that some uh, one or more variables are contemporaneously uh, correlated with our disturbance term the, then our OL estimator will not be consistent this result from the estimator assigning explanatory power to the variable where in reality it is arising from the correlation between the error term and our dependent variable okay suppose uh, uh, in a regression analysis we find that uh, our dependent variable x2 t has a positive correlation with our with our error term when the disturbance term happens to take a high value when we have a correlation high correlation with our explanatory variable and our error term so there may be chance that uh, our error term will be high and high error term will encourage the high value of y like we have y t is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 t plus uh, so on beta uh, ut so see if x 2 t is correlated with ut so ut value will be higher and a higher ut will, ut will encourage the higher value of dependent variable or yt okay but if x 2 t is positively correlated with ut then x 2 t is also likely to be high thus the OLS estimator will incorrectly attribute the high value of yt to high value of x 2 t whereas in reality yt is high simply because ut is high which will result in biased and inconsistent parameter estimates and a fitted regression line that appear to capture the features of the data much better than it does in reality so this is all about 
uh, when we have explanatory variables are stochastic so uh, we can say that there is no relationship between our explanatory variable and our error term so this also shows that there is uh, zero co uh, covariance between explanatory variable and error term okay see you with another video of uh, ols assumption ciao